Today, we're going in in LB22 and fixing the New York Mets. A team that I was happy to see actually made the postseason this year, but unfortunately, in the wild card, just like a bunch of other teams, just didn't come out hot, unfortunately. So today, we're gonna be fixing the offense, gonna be rebuilding that pitching staff, because they got a lot going on. And then hopefully making some good pushes into the playoffs and winning a World Series. That's the main goal. Hope you guys are excited for this video. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Here we go. Right now, the Mets are fourth overall in this game. I don't 100% agree, but whatever. 10th in contact, 15th in power, first in pitching, fourth in defense, and 22nd in speed. On the roster, I'm not gonna lie, we got a lot of question marks here. The biggest one by far is Jacob deGrom coming back for 2023. I don't really know. I've been hearing reports everywhere that Atlanta, that Texas, that freaking San Francisco are gonna be going for this dude heavy. I think if he hits the market, though, everybody's gonna go for him. I mean, the guy's literally one of the best pitchers of all time right now. So for the Mets' sake, I hope they can keep him. I would assume they can because Steve Cohen's got an unlimited bag, but we'll see. After that, Edwin Diaz, another free agent. Where the heck is this dude gonna go? We'll find out. Chris Bassett, Tywan Walker, Brennan Nimmo, all those dudes. A lot is up in the air right now for this team, so we'll see how we do. I gotta navigate all that, though, so wish me luck for the offseason of 2022 into 2023. Let's see how we do. The first thing up is the exclusives. Right now, we got Edwin Diaz, we got Chris Bassett, Brennan Nimmo, Carlos Carrasco, Seth Lugo, a boatload of guys. It's not good. I do know a rough estimate of the guys that I'm keeping. First off, I gotta keep sugar. I gotta do it. The guy's gonna get five years, $105 million, quite a bit for a closer, but for the trumpet boy, it's worth it. Next up, Chris Bass. I'm going two years on him, and the dude's gonna get quite a gigantic bag. About 15 or 16 million a year for two years. After that, Brennan Nimmo was good. My dude is super important to the entire offense, so I gotta keep him too. I am gonna front load his contract, though, just to hopefully free up some money down the line. After that, Carlos Carrasco. I'm not signing back. Seth Lugo, maybe, but he had a five ERA this year. I still think he is one of the best, though, for me, at least, so I'm gonna go ahead and get him back. Trevor May, I mean, he was good in this game. In real life, probably not gonna get them back, but I'll keep him for now. Tyler Naquin, honestly, not bad. Would be a pretty good bench guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep him too, and the rest, I'll let him go. Great to see now. Let's go ahead and get to it. We got Aaron Judge. We got Trey Turner. We got Aaron Nola. Got Clayton. Got Joe Musgrove. Tim Anderson. Wilson Contreras. Nathan Ovaldi. So many guys here, and we don't really have that much money to spend. I'm not gonna lie, but I am gonna be looking at a lot of different guys for the offense, because again, the offense came out so flat in the postseason. I gotta upgrade it somewhere, and I think the way that we're gonna upgrade it is actually gonna be out in the outfield, surprisingly. I'm going to go with Mitch Hanniger for two years at 11 million. That should be pretty solid. After that, I mean, honestly, we kind of have everybody that we want. There's nobody that I really want to get for third base. Second base is locked up with Jeff McNeil and Luis. After that first base, I mean, we got Big Meat Pete right there. And then catch not could go with Contreras, but I mean, James McCann and Francisco Alvarez, I don't really see that as too bad. So I might just go ahead and keep it as that. Actually, never mind. As I say that, Wilson only wants 12 million. I'm doing it. I'm sorry. I got to do it. The dude's an upgrade over James McCann, so screw it. I gotta do it. There we are. 82 over six. Come on. Now that the offense is actually all squared away, now we have to rebuild pretty much the entire pitching staff. In this game, DeGrom stayed on, but he's gonna be probably leaving next year. So, I mean, we'll see what happens there. Max Scherzer's an 83 overall. Helen Walker also didn't leave just yet. Again, this game is not exactly up to date. I wish it was, but whatever. But we still did lose out on Cookie and a couple of the bullpen guys. So I definitely have to build these guys in somewhere. And yo, to replace Cookie, I'm going Sean Manea. Hey, besides that, we're chilling for this year. As we get Wilson Contreras, there we go. Besides that, we should be able to for next year. Let's go ahead and get to it. And let's see how we do. In the lineup, we pretty much did nothing besides get Wilson Contreras, which was gigantic. This is going to help out tremendously. But in my opinion, we still got a decent way to go. Right off the bat, I'm looking for a better DH and I'm looking for a better third baseman. We'll see if we can get that this year. Now, on to the rotation. We still got a lot of the guys that I said were going to be leaving this year because in this game, for some reason, they just didn't. Like the Grom just didn't opt out of his contract for this year. That's just how the CPU did it. And then Tywin Walker had an extra year. So technically, 2023 is supposed to be 2022 and 2023 for agency, it's it's all complicated. But yeah, no matter what, we're probably gonna lose DeGrom and Tywin Walker by the end of this year if I don't sign them back. Let's go ahead and get into this year as we're ranked third overall in MLB and let's get it going. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm really not expecting to beat the Braves this year just because of how good the Braves actually are. So it's gonna be tough. It's all gonna come down to who I can get at the trader line. If I can get some good guys at the trader line, then it's pretty much all over from there. So let's hope I can freaking find somebody, all right? Let's go. Here we are, July 31st. We are 73 and 34. We oh, oh my God. Wait a minute, everybody in the NLE is choking. Look at this. The only team that's come somewhat close is the freaking Marlins. What's like, yo, coach, what are you guys doing? How the heck are the Marlins our closest rival at 12 and a half games back? Oh my God. All right. Well, hey, I'm here for it. The Braves and the Phillies funeral. Let's go. I'll dance on their grave. Our needs though are still here. We got to get a better DH and a better third baseman. I mean, look at this 26th on both of them pretty much. Let me please God find somebody. Here we go. Oh, I found my third baseman. That feels so good. All right. Jorge Polanco. Look at this dude's stats real 
quick. Dude's got 20 doubles, six triples on the year. 19 home runs, 53 RBIs, 46 walks, which is kind of crazy. Has a 312 average, a 540 slugging. And my boy's chilling with a 4.1 war. It's a match made in heaven. I got to do it. We're getting rid of two marks and an Eduardo. And let's go ahead and do this deal. There we go. Mark Canna and Eduardo are going to be missed. I swear to God. But yo, we just got way better. How are we finishing off this year? Show me. 109 and 53. I better see a DeGrom Cy Young and us winning the MVP somewhere. There's the first one. DeGrom Cy Young, Francisco Indoor Gold Glove, and Big Meat P MVP. Oh my God. Beating out Austin Riley with a two. 38. I mean, again, he still did good, but yo. Second place, really? That's so nice, though. The MVP and the Cy Young both are ours. Let's go, dude. Look at us, by the way. Getting all three of the Cy Young spots. Run it up, dude. In the lineup, Song Marte. Let's go. Career resurgence right here. Pete Alonso again, 40 bombs. Mitch, 30 bombs at 270, pretty much. Wilson Contreras, very, very good. Tyler Naquin, not terrible. Jorge Polanco, very, very solid at 313. And then Brandon Nimmo at the end of the lineup, 107 RBIs at the bottom of the lineup. Actually, crazy only 480 at bats too the entire rotation killed it i mean come on all right postseason time who are we facing san diego oh god Please, God, offense, don't you dare choke this. Jacob DeGrom, let's go. Game one. That's at least one win. We're tied with the wild card. David Peterson versus Brad Keller. There we go. We're officially doing better. Sean Manea versus Nathan Ovaldi. And there we are. Three games sweet, baby. Get him out of here. Facing the Cardinals now. Here we go. DeGrom versus Jack Flaherty. Lost by one. Oh, man, Jimmy. No. David Peterson versus Jordan Hicks. Want that 13 to 4? There we go, offense. Thank you. Jumping over Jordan Montgomery, the battle of the lefties. Want that 3 to 2? Oh my God. Sean Manea, thank you for being such a dime. Tyler versus Steven Matz. That is a name I've not heard in a while. Want that though. Jacob DeGrom versus Dakota Hudson. And just like that, we're on to the World Series. Gonna be facing either the Twins or the Mariners. Wow. 2023 is insane, dude. We're facing the Mariners. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Jake DeGrom versus Logan Gilbert. Won that one three to one. Shaw Manea versus George Kirby. Oh my God. Peterson versus Robbie Ray, the fantastic closer. I shouldn't have talked trash. Lost that zero to four. Jacob DeGrom versus Chris Flexen. Lost that one too. How do we lose to Flexen? Shaw Manea versus Logan Gilbert. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean it. We got to go in for these, dude. What the heck? I made one joke and they got pissed off. I don't need us choking this, okay? It's for real. I don't need us choking it. Tyler, please, God, have a game. Julio, please don't do this to me. There we go. All right, we're good. Dolan Marte leading off with a double. Jeff McNeil, single. There we are. Textbook, baby. Pete Alonso, build his choice. All right, Wilson, build his choice. All right, Francisco, double. There we are. Jorge Polanco. Strikeout. That's all right. 2 0. Mitch Hanna goat, though, with a solo bomb. There we are. Keep it going a little bit. Or not. All right. 3 to 1. That's still fine. 3 to 2. I'm going to stop talking straight up. Tyler, I swear to God, please get out of this. Or not. Give up the lead. That's cool, too. You know, it's not like we need any clutch in the World Series. It's fine. Whatever. Who cares? Come on, guys. Come back. Wilson, that's why we got you. Solo bomb. Please, though. Can we get on base for these guys to hit some home runs? Mitch. Strike out. Oh my God. We're hitting like we want. We just don't have guys in front of us when we want to hit good. Wilson, two guys on. Come on. And now we don't do anything with it, of course. And now it's five to four, thanks to a bomb from Adam Frazier and a bomb from Jesse. Holy crap. I'm actually going to freak out, dude. Corey Polanco with Francisco and Doron. Strike out. Tyler Naquin. Oh my God. Mitch. Dude. I need the trumpets. Come on. Ground out. Air got out of it. All right. Wilson versus Diego Castillo. Wilson, please. Make that Andres Minos. That's fine. Wilson, please. Walk. Okay. Francisco, please. There we go. We're going in and try to walk this thing off. I don't care. I don't. We're, we're going in. We have to. Blanco, it's time. This is why we got you at the deadline right here, dude. Come on. Andre, that hit him. All right. We'll take it. Free base. One guy on with no outs. We will easily take that. Now, Tyler Naquin. Here we go. Has almost a 500 average in the postseason so far. And that's an absolute dime down the middle. Keep going. Go, go, go. That splits the gap. Go, go, go. That might be it. That might be it. Get back. There we go, baby. Tyler Naquin splitting the gap. Yeah, dude. Moving us on to game seven. That's exactly what we needed. Oh my God, Tyler. Thank you, dude. Now we just need one more. I cannot believe that we did that, but we just need one more, dude. We got the Grom going up. He's on a little bit low energy though, so I'm gonna have to pull him pretty quick. Once he has his day, we're bringing in David Peterson. We'll see how it goes from there. Either way, game seven. Let's get it. JP Crawford. That's a walk to start the game. All right, not normal. Adam Frazier single that's also really not normal stack fly that's a run that's okay that's all right get the ground what are we doing <laughs> that was not a the ground first inning i will tell you that right now i got robbie ray though up so i still feel a little confident jeff mcneil zach bunt all right pete alonzo 
fly out. Mitch Haniger. All right, dude. And Suarez hits a bomb. It's 2-0 now. Not exactly what I'm looking for from DeGrom, but whatever. Let's try to score something, though. Brett Beatty. Strikeout. All right. This might be DeGrom's last inning if he can't get out of this quick. And he got out of it quick. Of course he did. Francisco, please. Guys, I need the offense to wake up. We got one hit. Or not. DeGrom, what do you got for me? Two straight singles. That is it. You are pulled, my boy. That was not the DeGrom I was looking for. And now two more runs scored. Of course. We're so cursed. Guys, can we please get a hit? It's the bottom of the sixth and we have one hit. Come on. Two guys on. Pete Alonso versus a lefty. Double play. I, I hate this team. I'm hating this team right now. I'm not going to lie. How are we getting absolutely destroyed by Robbie freaking Wright? Don't tell me he's actually going to one hit us. Please. Not like real life. We have to score five runs to come back here. At least four. Single. Pete Alonso. Alonso, strike out. 0 for 4 when we need him the most. Mitch, strike out. 0 for 4 when we need him the most. Wilson, we lose in game seven. Robbie Ray pitched a nine inning, two hit, absolute masterclass. And the Grom got peace. We got to go again, but come on, dude. We got three guys that we're going for this offseason Ian Happ, Tom Walker, and Tyler Duffy. Let's hope we can get all those dudes. If we can, we're looking good. Ian Happ off the board already. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get back to 2024. All right, let's go. Right now in 2024, we're going to be making one pitching upgrade, which is getting rid of Matt Whistler and getting Paul Blackburn, actually. The dude's a secret beast out here in Oakland. And to be honest, I'm trying to save him. So there we go. He's going to help us like crazy as a good long reliever. I mean, look at this. The guy looks amazing. So I cannot wait for that. Besides that, though, everybody else is looking pretty okay. I do want to make an offensive upgrade, but I really don't exactly know where. I mean, everybody's looking very, very good. The only thing I can think of is maybe getting rid of some Marte for a guy that can come off the bench and pretty much guaranteed hit a bomb. Someone like a Vogelbach, to be honest. Oh my God, I got an idea. I have an idea. Where is my boy? There he is. Kyle Schwarber. That's the dude I'm going for. This dude right here is going to help us hit some absolute nukes. Now for this year, we finish up 107 and 55. A little bit worse than last year, but come on. Still 107 freaking games. Awards. What do we got right here? National League MVP, the Hannah Go. Mitch, you crazy freaking psycho. 303 with 55 bombs. My boy's on a different planet what the heck is that and then Degrom coming in second place for the Cy Young that hurts a little bit even though I feel like he should have won it but whatever dude what is Mitch right here this dude has completely went crazy for us I got this guy for two years 5.5 million a piece he was doing good in Seattle but he's straight up taking steroids in New York Kyle Schwarber almost 40 bombs as well Ian Happ very good Wilson very good everybody I love it I need us not to choke though in the postseason can we please do that Jacob Degrom versus Corbin Burns and the Brewers for the NLDS let's get it going Jake come on there we go. 10-7. David Peterson versus Brandon Woodruff. This is not going to be easy. And of course it's not. Sean Manea versus Freddy Peralta. <sighs> that was a super close game. I can feel it. And then Tyler versus Luis Castillo. There we are. Got past a very, very good team. Now moving to another great team. The Padres. Here we are. The Grom versus Nathan Ovaldi for game one. One that eight to five. Holy crap. David Peterson versus Frankie Montez. All right. They got Frankie. Lost that one. Zero to three. Sean Manea versus Kyle Tyler. One of that, beautiful. Tyler versus Reese. I think that's how you say that. Come on. And lost it by one. DeGrom back again versus Evaldi. One of that by one. David Peterson versus Frankie. Oh my God, we're back there in the World Series. Who are we facing now? Seattle again. Let's go. DeGrom versus Julio Urias for game one. One of that. David Peterson versus Logan Gilbert. <sighs> lost it by one. Are you kidding me? Sean Manea versus George Kirby. Lost that one by one. I swear to God. Tyler versus Julio. Won that one by one. Jake the Grom versus Blake Snell. Why is Blake there? Won that though. David Peterson versus Logan Gilbert. Come on, dude. We're in New York again. David, I swear to God, if I see you doing terrible, I'm pulling you almost instantly. That's one. That's okay. But if he gives up like four plus, I got to pull him instantly as that's three straight singles. Brett Phillips, strike out. JP, there we go. Got out of it. Come on, hitters. Let's get something together as we're no hit through three. There we go, Wilson with a double. Jorge Polanco, single. Runner got thrown out, though. All right, Brennan Nimmo. Fly out. All right, Francisco, single. Jeff McNeil. Oh, my God. We're always on the edge. David, you cannot stop this. We get so many good guys together, but they cannot score some freaking runs. Kyle, strikeout. Two straight strikeouts. Ian Happ, three straight strikeouts. Why does this always happen whenever I go in to manage these games, guys? Why? Base is juiced. Ian Happ, two outs. Grand slam. Thank you. That's why we got Ian Happ right there. And of course, I can't even have a second to have fun with it because they instantly score. Paul Blackburn, please, God, get out of it or not. Give up the lead. That's cool, too. That's just how the Mets do it. Brennan Nimmo getting back the lead, though. We're tied. Tyler Duffy has a 12 VRA. Would have been nice to know that. Pop out, ground out, double. 
Do I take him out? Tough yes, word of God. Pinch hitter. That's Adley. They have Adley. Why? All right, I'm bringing in the lefty. I don't care. Sean Manea, please, God. Get him out. Fly out. Perfect. All right, Pete. Ground out. Mitch. Single. Kyle. Pop out. Ian. Triple. Thank you, Ian. Holy crap. Single-handedly put the entire team on his back. And I'm going in for the last. JP Crawford versus Sean Manea. Let this be it. Oh, my God. Sean Manea coming in in relief. I would bring in Edwin, but honestly, Sean's right here. We might as well just shut the door. We got the 1-1 one, one count. Trying to make it 1-2. There it is. 1-2. All right, come on, Sean. You and Wilson, that's all it's got to be. Just a little game of catch. You know, nothing too crazy. Nothing crazy. As he actually stops it. Oh my God, do it. And there we go. Finally, after a heartbreaker last year, we win it this year. My boy knocked it down with the cankles, but I'm happy he did. Holy crap. Through these glasses, I'm taking these off. We got the World Series winning glasses right here, baby. Let's go. What a beautiful comeback right there. If it wasn't for Ian Happ literally scoring five RBIs this game, we would have been so dead. All of New York better leave a like for Ian Happ, straight up. You guys better leave a like for Ian Happ. My boy carried.